you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm gonna be going over what to do right now and what to expect before most feared. So as you guys do know, they did change up the schedule of what they're used to doing. So the Madden usually, when there's a new promo, wait for a special stream now the special stream is what pretty much gives us all the info and details on a promo the night before and then the following day the promo usually drops but they're doing kind of something weird here so usually we expect that on a thursday night and then friday morning a promo will come out but they announced a special stream tonight wednesday night so now i gotta i gotta push all my videos forward so i gotta do my what to expect my prediction i do everything today which kind of throws me off but it doesn't really matter because my only concern is, will the promo come out Thursday morning, and will that be tomorrow morning, or will they still wait for Friday, if they do indeed push the special stream up? I don't know. They're doing it Wednesday, Wednesday night, which is tonight, so we'll know all the info tonight, but it seemed like it was the right time to go over what to expect and what to do right before Mud Heroes comes out. I'm going to go over every every little bit of uh, details, tips, tricks, everything I got that you guys should be doing before we go into Most Feared, considering the time period and that we're going to be writing to a new promo. So first things first, guys. We hit 10K. We are at 10K subscribers. That is unreal. That's unreal. We now have, what is that, five digits? We're not in six yet, but hopefully one day. But we're in five digits, guys. That's pretty crazy. I never thought this would come this quickly. I think I've consistently daily uploaded. I even uploaded in February, March, April. Took a break for most of the summer. And then September, October, uh, September and August. That's like five, five months and a half. I've consistently uploaded. We hit 10K subscribers. That's crazy, guys. Thank you for all the support. If you are new to the channel and you're here, come keep joining the gang. Let's get to 20K next. Let's start growing again. Let's keep it going, boys. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure to comment down below anything that you guys think we should also be doing before most fear to prepare. And also, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, boys. And guys, real quick, in honor of hitting 10K, I will be doing a light goal giveaway for today and most likely to, uh, tomorrow and maybe the day after. We did these before. If you guys are loyal to the channel, you guys already know. So I'm going to be setting the like goal to 500k. No, 500k. If we get 500 likes on any video today, I will be giving away 50k coins. All you got to do below is comment 50k and then drop a like on the video and just comment 50k and like the video. Pretty much it. If we hit any of those, I will be dropping the I will be dropping the uh, giveaway winner uh, down below in the comments or I'll say it in the video and then you guys have to hit me up on Twitter. I already paid out two of the winners. All the ones that are already won from the other ones that we hit the like goals on. So, any video today hits 500 likes. You guys know how that is. Now, let's get into this video before we get too long into this intro. All right. So, first things first. Coming on over to your binder. You guys want to start clearing a little bit. You have to really come down to what do you guys need and what don't you need. So, for me, like I told you guys, I got to sell things now. So, for me, I'm going to be selling Greg Olson. I'm going to sell Mitch Morse. And potentially, I think that actually might be it. So, Understand what you need and what you don't need going into most feared for me. Like I said, I think the cash was a guy that I could take into most feared I think that Jalen Ramsey and Barkley I could take into most feared just fine But as far as Greg Olson, Mitch Morris and a few other guys I think they got to go for the most part I don't think they have a role on my team and the longer you hold cards into promo the more uh, the more they will lose value Just as more cards start to come out and second Get your coin stack up as soon as possible. You want the coin stack for most feared. It's going to be a lot harder to get your coin stack in most feared because once you're in most feared, a lot of your teams are going to lose value. Uh, not that it's going to die, but things will lose value that you expect it to sell. If you want to sell them, most likely they're losing value too. You're not probably the only one. You're not alone in that situation. So make, make sure you get your coin stack up now. If you're planning to buy coins, do whatever you want to do. Do it Do it now before most feared starts. That's when everything's going to start kicking up. I do expect uh, solo sequences, maybe a free player. Maybe a new currency, most likely. I still think it's gonna be a new currency. I've been thinking like pumpkins or ghosts, but I know there'll be something. I just don't know the exact currency type. But there's gonna be a lot of new things. So get your coin stack up so you can take part in the currencies and everything that's coming with that. And with there being a currency, there might be another blitz within that. Usually I start that on Thanksgiving, guys. But so like I said, what I'd be doing with coins, I'd be building up the stack. Preferably, like I said, 500k is doable. But with 500k, I'd spend more of that investing and less on actually buying a team right away. Now, a million coins is more preferable because you can buy a few cards with a million coins and then spend the rest on like investing and making coins back. So that's kind of the beauty of having a billion coins. But not all of you, I understand not everyone has spent money or does any of that. So 500k can still get the job done. Even 300k if you use it wisely. But you have to be really smart with it. Because um, obviously, if you make a 20 to 30k gain in every card you buy with that 500k coin, you can easily keep doubling your coins back as time progresses. Second, what you guys want to really be getting done right about now would be your challenges. Not that they're going to go away, but I know once most fear starts, you guys are going to be so overwhelmed. So there's, remember guys, 
There's the team of the week solos. There's a team of the week. They need to get done. You need to get Madden Ultimate Team 10 on Friday. Do not forget about that. Set, set, I would set an alarm for those so you guys don't miss. We're literally like two or three weeks away from getting our free player. You do not want to miss that. And then also, I'd start getting done, if you can, at any, at any point this week. Your Mud Hero solo is done. I know how this goes. You guys who haven't gotten your free player yet, like me, most fear is about to start. You're going to be behind in your solo challenges, and you're, never, you're not going to get this done for a while, and you're not going to get your nap player for a while. So I'd recommend you start getting that done as soon as possible, because once most spirit stars can have new objectives, new solos, maybe new house rules, a bunch of new stuff to be doing, and you guys aren't going to get the solo challenges done for at least a week or two. So get that done today if possible. Get everything done that you can today. That like, I like to finish out the promos before the new promos. Nothing's worse than going into most spirit, which still things to do in Mutt Heroes. Get your Mutt Heroes done today. Get the cutoff done. Get all your things and get ready to go and fresh into most feared. Also, the extra nap player could let you sell another player on your team, which then could give you more coins for your coin stack, which is obviously highly beneficial. I also recommend you guys keep getting that level up grind done. You want to get that done now. That was just a little quick thing right there. Now, for most feared, guys, what do I expect? What to expect from most feared, specifically? I expect that there will be a new currency. I'm almost positive there will be a new currency. They will be new sets. They will be a master player. Will it be a legend? I, it might. It, it will probably be a master player that's a legend or at least a high set piece. Like last year, we got Calvin Johnson. I feel like we got we've gotten Tony Gonzalez. I feel like we'll be up that late. I don't know what legend we'll get. Whether it be an offensive player like a wide receiver, running back, or a quarterback, or if it, what if we'll be a defensive player, cornerback, safety linebacker, how you know whatever. I know they're probably be a master. He will most likely be a legend because they've used they, in the last few years they have used legends for this. Now, maybe he'll just be a set piece as a legend, or maybe he'll be the master. I don't know if they're going to even do masters because they have not done that yet this year. I'm hoping they do. I've always enjoyed that. Hopefully, they do what I told you guys. You can put them in as Nat. But that remains to be seen. I know there'll be a solo sequence. Will they give us a free player? I'm not entirely sure just yet. And will they enrage on Halloween? I can almost promise you that they're going to enrage or something. Because that's oh, that's like the staple of the most feared promo, that the cards can enrage. If you guys don't know what enraging is, it's, it's like... On the day of Halloween and like the day after, the cards have like super, they're like super humans. They're either really tall, really strong, really fast, uh, really big hands. There's always something with them. Or they have little tiny midget guys who like shrink. It all really depends on how they go about this promo. Now with the objectives, I imagine that there'll be an objective based system where you can get the new currency, whether it be pumpkins, ghost, candy corn, whatever it is, you can get the new currency through that. You could be, most likely you'll be quick selling Halloween players to get them. So you're gonna want to get. So it's pretty much the, what what's, what these currencies do, guys. Is what I'm trying to get across is that they mean they make it so like to to partake in that promo. You have to partake in that promo first. So what that means is that you can't go get Legend Larry Little and quick sell him for for pumpkins. Let's just say it's called pumpkins. You need to get um, Legend Most Feared Calvin and quick sell him and get pumpkins. So. Why I say get your coin stack up is because, yeah, let's say you have a 3 million coin team. I have plenty of players. I have plenty of things. Well, when the thing starts, if you need pumpkins to do the Blitz promo, you have to go buy Halloween players to quick sell because they quick sell for pumpkins. So you're going to have to go sell your team, lose a ton of coins that you didn't sell already or players you didn't sell, and then go buy players and then lose even more coins because they're, they're inflated because they go for pumpkins. Trust me. It's like a downward spiral from there. You guys are going to want to have your coins ready to go. As soon as you see a good player, buy them, get your currency, start partaking in the promo. That's kind of what I'm saying. Like to be in that promo, it's like money makes money. It's pumpkins make pumpkins. That's how that promo is going to work. So you guys are going to want to be within it already. Don't wait until you're on the outside looking in. And then as far as um, season, so I don't think any of that will be touched. We can leech not be touched. There might be objective based things within those, such as like a thousand yards, 150 passing touchdowns and a bunch of other things that could go back could coincide with getting pumpkins. I can see that. I can see us getting free players from uh, objectives. Um, I'm hoping that the highly give us a house rules with a free Nat Halloween card. That's kind of the Pope. Now, like I said, I don't know if this promo will drop tomorrow or Friday morning. I'm hoping tomorrow at this point, considering where we're at right now, it'd be really cool. If we can get the promo tomorrow. And if we don't, it is what it is. Friday is still a great day for it. Honestly, maybe Friday worked better for me because I'm free the whole day. I could really just work on videos for the whole day. That'd be a lot better, actually. Now, would I expect the market to crash from this? I don't really expect it to crash. I do expect it to go down. It's like Mud Heroes. The market didn't entirely crash in at one point. Like it, it slowly went down, but like from beginning to end, it slowly did it and crashed. But it wasn't like some crash where every card lost value besides Mud Heroes. It's like everything kind of just went down. I've been telling you guys, Mud Heroes just added to an already flooded uh 90 to 91 overall group of players so it just made everything go down so in my opinion i don't think i don't think it's gonna kill it right away if i think it might i think most feared will drop 93 overalls i think when that happens a lot of things will go down but like i said it usually works with the best players from that position is what will go down guys that's most likely what will go down so let's say um 
I don't want to say this, but let's say Saquon Barkley. I'm going to keep him anyway, so I don't think he's going to be that bad. But let's say Saquon Barkley is a 90, he's 91 overall. He's really good. And they drop a 93 overall. Ezekiel Elliott with like 91 speed. Yeah, Saquon will probably go down a little bit. But that's if they give Ezekiel Elliott 93 speed, which I don't think they will. Nor do I even know if there'll be Ezekiel Elliott. But you guys get the point, guys. But that is about it for the video, guys. I gave you guys a little bit of what to expect for tomorrow's promo. Just recap it real quick before the special stream tonight. A little bit of what to do right now to preserve your coins and how to prepare for it. Guys, that should give you guys all the info you guys needed. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. And don't forget to enter any of today's giveaways. Just smash the like button, boys. And don't forget to comment down below 50k. Oh, yeah, just comment down below 50k or done or whatever. And then like the video. If any video today hits 500 likes, I will be giving away 50k. So hopefully we can get a winner today. And I'll be posting three videos. I know at least one of them will hit them. And then tomorrow we'll do it again. And then for the day of most feared, most likely. And then we'll cut those off for another week or so. But that is an honor of us hitting 10k, guys. Say what's up. Go over to Twitter at poodle underscore yt. Say what's up. Say congrats on 10k. Come if you guys ever need help, I'm over there. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.